hello guys welcome back to my channel today we're going to be doing a tutorial on this really lovely Ankara skirt so basically it's a pencil skirt with a gathered peplum and a band so let's get to work guys okay guys so time to draft the pattern so basically our uh, hip measure our waist measurement is 13 inches our hip measurement is 36 inches the length of the skirt is 20 inches and that's basically all. Basically, I want the band to be 2 inches and then the body of the skirt to be 18 inches. And then that gathers is, I want the gathered part to be about... Mm, seven inches. Seven inches there about. Okay, so basically, as usual, start with um, marking out your vertical points. So, first off, my waist, as I mentioned earlier, my band is going to be 2 inches. So, on a normal day, when I do my measurements, whatsoever I do, my navel to my hip line, the widest point of my hip line, I usually use 7 inches. So, since I'm, my band is 2 inches, subtract 2 from 7, that will be 5. So, on this um, main skirt, the main body of the skirt, I'm going to measure my hip line is going to be 5 inches from my top. So here's what I'm going to do. First of all, I'll measure from the top, I'll measure 5 inches because I'm trying to mark out the widest point of my waist. So from the top of your, the top edge of my paper, I'll measure 5 inches down. To signify that widest point of my hip line. And then as I mentioned earlier, the length of my skirt is 20 inches, my band is 2 inches, and then this the vertical length of this is 18 inches so I'm okay with that let me just draw out where I'm going to mark my hip line the horizontal line for my hip line so that's basically what I need to do then the next step is to mark out my darts. My darts, um, this is my, usually, as I said earlier, my um, waist measurement is 28 inches. 28 divided by 4. I said 28 inches. I said 30 inches, sorry. 30 inches. So 30 divided by 4 is 7 and a half. So my waist measurement is supposed to be half of that seven and a half inches so that's sorry my that placement is going to be half of that seven and a half inches which is three three quarter inches so from the edge of my paper from this edge of my paper i measure three three quarter inches so that i know i'm able to mark out my that line the center leg of my dark side. So, this is the center leg of my dark. Let me draw it out. I usually, my, for my front, um, my, for my skirts, my front darts exceed my hip line by half an inch. That's what I do. That's what I do for my skirts and that's what works for me and my clients. Some people do differently, but that's what works for me. So I make it longer by half an inch. So this is going to be the center leg of my dots. 
and as I mentioned earlier, I said the hip hip measurement is 36 inches. 36 divided by 4 is 9 inches. So along this hip line, I'll measure 9 inches from the center front. So this is the center front. I'm going to measure 9 inches from there along this hip line. So that's 9 inches. And then since it's a pencil skirt, what I do for my pencil skirt is if I use 9 inches here, for the end of my skirt, that's this, the lower end of my skirt, I use 8 inches. So whatever I use here, I subtract 1 inch and then use it because that's the way my skirt, that's the way to pencil my skirt. That's what works for me. So at the lower part, I'll use 8 inches. And then for my um, waist measurement, I said earlier that my waist is, the waist measurement I'm using is 30 inches. 30 divided by 4 is 7 and a half. And then my dart intake is 1 and a half. So 7 and a half plus 1 and a half is 9 inches. So I'm also going to measure 9 inches at the waist. That's what I do. And it gives me a very perfectly fitted skirt. So I'll just connect the points. Then I'll connect the points on top, connect it to the waist. So this is basically how the skirt is going to look like. So remember that our dart intake was one and a half inches. So one and a half divided by two is 0 0.75. So from this center leg of the dart, I'll measure 0 0.75 on both sides. So. So I'll just connect the points. So that is basically my pencil skirt. My lines are double. I have, I don't know, I have double lines here, but really, I think you can still see this is the main line. All I was trying to do is just pencil it from that point down. And then usually what I do is, if I have done it this way and it's still not penciled enough for the client, what I do is I pencil it at the back, as in like I put an extra, like, um, that at the slit point. Well, I'll show you when I'm drafting the pattern for the back. So, this is basically my pattern for the front of the skirt. Let me just add my allowance because I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually sew this paper together to show you how to also join the um, gathered portion. So, my, my allowance is one and a half inches. I'll just mark that out. basically my front pattern so this is the front pattern of my skirt let me just draft out the back pattern basically for the just the back pattern what um the only difference is there's just going to be a zip allowance here so because my skirt the slip for my skirt is not overlapping it's just the regular open slits i don't need to have any form of 
um, extra allowance for slits. So basically, what I'm going to do is just add a quarter of an inch to this center portion of my paper, and that's what I'm going to do, and then I'll get back to you guys. Okay, so basically this is my full skirt pattern. If you can see, this, this is my full skirt pattern. I've got all my dots. So what you're supposed to do is, you know I'm working with paper, so it would be really difficult for me to join the dots and all. But what you're supposed to do is actually close up your dots. So you close up both dots. And then notice, see my allowances by the side, one and a half inches, one and a half inches. So join the front and the back pieces first. Join the front and the back pieces first. That's what we're supposed to do. Okay, so I've joined both front and back pieces as neatly as I can. And this is what I have left. So after joining your front and back pieces, first of all, I said close up the dots, join the front and the back pieces, and then the next step is just to put the peplum around the waist before we join the band so let's put the peplum around the waist okay so basically this is the peplum we're supposed to use and what i have done is i've just used if you can see very closely i've just used big stitches to just um sew through the top part of the peplum so i'll just pull the gathers and i think this is a very easy way to pull gathers and make it even so just pull mine is paper so I think it looks a bit funny but I think you should be able to get the concept so just keep pulling this is how you pull that as so just keep pulling through do you understand that? so it's just Can you see? It's just tight and smooth that way. I don't mind it's not smooth since it's paper though. So, anyways, after pulling, remember that we've joined the um, front part of the skirt and the back part of the skirt together. So what you just do is, let me try and pull it. Now. So what you do is. Just can you see? <sighs> I'm trying to make this really clear. So basically, if you can see, I was struggling with it too much, so I had to just like find a way to pin it together. So this is what it is. I've just spread out my gathers evenly around the joining. So remember that you are taking the gathers all around. So what I did was I forgot to explain that for sure. What I, what you do is so what you do is after joining the front and back pieces of your skirts. Remember I said join them along the side seams. After joining them along the side seams, measure the waist together. So the waist of your the the front measure at the waist all through the whole length that you have so when i measured also i think my length was um okay let's just imagine that when you measure all through your length is um 30 inches do you understand multiply 30 by 2 that's 60 inches so the length the width of this paper that's how wide this paper is should be about 62 inches, 2 inches to bend in at these edges, 2 inches seam allowance just to fold it, to hem it in at the edges. So what, what you should have is, you know, remember the, the length of this paper, that's this length from here to here, is 7 inches. So I should have 62, a, a fabric that is 62 inches um, wide and 7 inches long, do you understand? 62 inches wide and 7 inches long and then you just pull the gathers and then join it to all, all around the waist portion of your skirts. 
So after that step, after fixing the peplum, the next step is to fix the band of our skirt. So to fix the band of our skirt, remember I said I wanted the band of my skirt to be 2 inches in width. So like 2 inches wide. This is more than 2 inches anyways. But I wanted it to be 2 inches wide so that we really bold. Like the way hers is. So what you do is, after fixing it this way, then you cut a fabric. For example, I want mine, I want the band of my skirt to be 2 inches wide. So I would cut a fabric that is 5 inches or 4.5 inches, sorry, 4.5 inches wide because I want to be able to bend my, fold my band into two this way. Can you see? This is how it is. But I want, I want to be able to fold it into two this way. So I'll cut it to be 4.5 inches wide so that after I have folded it, I will still have about half an inch allowance to join it to the waist portion of my skirt. Jensen. So let me do that and then. Anyway, anyways guys, so I have joined the band to my skirt and here is my band. It's wider than 2 inches actually, but I just wanted to show you guys how it is done. So really, the reason why I didn't just um, join the peplum to the front portion and then join the band for the peplum then before, before I join both front and back pieces is because if you do it that way, your peplum won't be full by the sides. I don't know how to explain that to you. But if you notice, hers was, you know, all the way around. If you sew in this peplum, this the gathered portion of the peplum, by the side, it won't have that all round fullness. That's why you join the sides first before you fix the peplum all the way around and then you join the band all the way around too so i hope that was really easy i'm trying to restrict my videos to 15 minutes i don't know if i succeeded today okay i'm on 17 minutes but anyways guys this is basically how to make this lovely ankara skirt thank you guys for watching my watching this video please subscribe and share this video thanks guys